What a week it has been for Eyeless International. What's up investors? What a crazy week it has been for Eyeless. But after dropping to only 10 cents on Tuesday, the reversal began and Eyeless now appears to be on a solid upward trajectory once more. In this video, I will look at the latest news and why this is of vital importance to the company. I will look at how the overall business plan for Eyeless is coming together very nicely and I will address why Eyeless is not some kind of pump and dump because I see a lot of comments now trying to say that it is. And I will look at the charts to find you a good entry point into this stock at the best possible price. So if you like this type of content, can you smash the like button? It literally costs you nothing but it really helps me out and it shows me that you want to see me create more Eyeless related content. I'm aiming for over 300 likes on this video, help me make that happen. And if you want to support my work and get access to when I find these new opportunities at only a very tiny cost, check out my Patreon where I alerted Eyeless last year at only 5 cents along with many other stocks that nobody else is talking about that have made multi-bagger gains such as Boss Energy or Petrotech. Now let's get into it. Eyeless can confirm that Vera Jones is now in pre-order discussions with a global company for 100 Vera 500 rescue UAVs. The total order value being discussed is $60 million with a pre-order deposit of $6 million and delivery in the fourth quarter of 2023. It is important for shareholders and interested parties to visualize the extraordinary potential and value that exists within the Vera Jones business. Typical government or military organizations are looking to purchase more than five units at a time and Vera Jones has several opportunities in its pipeline for 10 or more units. Opportunities can be won or lost, but we are thrilled by the demand for the Vera Jones technology and a number of customers and aviation partners who are interested in pre-ordering their solutions. Vera Jones creates industrial heavy drones or UAVs for the rescue logistics and military sectors. Vera was originally acquired by Eyeless last month and I have not really discussed much of what they can do on this channel. The Vera product range currently consists of the M250, 500 and 750 which have a payload of 250, 500 and 750 kg respectively. The Vera M250 has a flight time of up to 4 hours and a maximum speed for UAVs ranges from 125 to 150 km per hour. That's approximately 70 to 95 miles per hour. Vera Drones previously developed a rescue UAV concept model based on its M500 to provide the capability to rescue victims from disaster sites such as in the event of flooding, wildfires and burning buildings. The concept UAV can transport firefighting equipment, rescue equipment and emergency supplies or it can transport as many as five victims should they need rescuing. So straight away you can see why Eyeless have acquired this company. This is not just another OTC company making little acquisitions that have little to do with their core business model in order to drum up publicity. Eyeless acquisition of Vera makes sense in so many ways related to the firefighting industry and discussions with international organizations, go government authorities and aviation companies regarding its full range of UAVs are taking place. Eyeless is currently focused on Vera Jones registration of patents and certifications which is incredibly important. As JP Backwell said, Vera Jones holds immeasurable potential for Eyeless and its shareholders, especially when one considers the several UAV companies that recently received billion dollar valuations despite having zero revenue or certifications and in most cases not, not even a flying product. Now let's not forget that Eyeless has recently dropped back to only 14 cents. Which means that Eyeless market cap is now only $177 million. Vera Jones is just one of the Eyeless family companies. There is so much going on here, but the overall goal is beginning to take shape nicely. But that is not all. Eyeless is also exploring available options for hydrogen power technology, as well as automation software, either through partnership or acquisition. Now a lot of this is being made possible by an influx of cash into the company. Last Monday, Eyeless share price had dropped as low as 10 cent. But Tuesday morning, Eyeless confirmed that it is now recently signed three funding deals for a total of $15 million, putting the company in a strong cash position to execute its current plans and move on to the next phase of opportunities. Importantly, 
No dilution is taking place for the funding, which was secured through fully repayable one-year term non-toxic promissory notes, with the option of a further $6 million should Eilis need it. The funding is being used by Eilis to expand operations, streamline production, ramp up marketing, and complete its next round of acquisitions. So now that more finances are in place, Eilis can keep up the rapid expansion. Eilis also confirmed that the first phase of the South Eastern Europe deal is expected to close in the next week or two with, with the company due to receive substantial subsidies within the next six to eight weeks and Eilis will be moving into a very large facility provided by the government. Eilis is also wrapping up paperwork on two previously mentioned deals in the coming days or week. And later on Tuesday, Eilis announced that they had acquired Georgia Fire and Rescue Supply. This is Eilis's first distribution acquisition and is key to the rollout of Eilis technology across North America. The company holds several exclusive Georgian distribution contracts for the sales and servicing of some of the world's largest fire quieting equipment brands. Georgia Fire currently operates from its 6,000 square foot distribution warehouse, but Eilis plans to move Georgia Fire into a 15,000 square foot distribution facility with a showroom and dedicated vehicle yard. This is the first of many distribution acquisitions in the US for Eilis and it complements the company's ongoing acquisition of manufacturing capability in North America, the UK, Europe, Asia and the Middle East. Some important bits of information here. The South Eastern European deal is expected to close within the next week or two. This was last Tuesday that this was announced so we should expect to hear more about this in the coming week. But more importantly, for those of you out there who have been calling Eilis a pump and dump or a scam recently when the share price had dropped, ask yourself the simple question. Do governments work with scam companies or do governments provide large facilities to scam companies? No, they don't. Eilis is a real company with real products and real growth. And soon it will be a Nasdaq listed company, which once again, if this was a pump and dump or some kind of scam, then they wouldn't be putting themselves in a position to have the company fully audited prior to uplisting onto Nasdaq. Guys, if you appreciate this type of content and this type of analysis, then smash the like button and consider subscribing to the channel. Looking at the chart over the past week, we can see here on Tuesday where Eilis hit its lowest point in months, but this did not last long. Eilis dropped to only 10 cent Tuesday morning, but within two hours, it was back up to over 12 cents and by midday was up near 14 cents. To put that in perspective, if you had had the conviction to buy the dip and bought Eilis at 10 cents Tuesday morning, you would have made 40% profit within four hours. Of course, if you were still holding, you would be up 45% from that drop right now. Anyways, looking at the chart, I believe we are seeing the beginning of an upward channel now, where on several occasions the stock has bounced off these lines of support and resistance as indicated here by the yellow and green arrows. And right now we are just touching the support line. So with the upcoming catalysts, I think that Eilis should see some very nice upward movement in the days and week ahead. And I think that this is a fantastic entry point to get into Eilis. Do you agree or disagree with my analysis? Let me know in the comment section below and remember to smash the like button if you've watched all the way through the video because you are a true legend and I appreciate you very much. If you want to support my work, check out my Patreon where we search for the next Eilis and I will catch you in the next update video.